we are disagreeing with ourselves and we have every reason to disagree. The North before now is saying we don't believe in separation. But as I'm standing, I'm telling you that if there's going to be separation tomorrow, the North is ready for it. We are also ready. Let's go our either ways. And, and I'm telling you this with all sincerity. Northern Nigeria before now do not want to hear anything separation. But as of today, as I speak to you, the North is equally ready to leave. That is number one. Number two, talking about presidency. What I'm going to say might be controversial. You might disagree with it, but it's the absolute reality, and I'm speaking the mind of Northerners. And I have no apology to anybody in this hall on what I'm going to say, though I respect the leaders, elders, and fathers that are here. I duly respect them. But I have no apology to anybody on what I'm going to say. Let's please be serious. We are here for a serious business. Let us not make it a discussion floor if we truly want to do this. Now, talking about rotational presidency, what I thought we should be looking at is credibility, competency, patriotism, nationalistic thinking, the love for one another, and things like that, that what is what I thought should constitute who becomes Nigeria's president. Not regional, tribal, ethnical, or any other thing. Please disagree with me, but I will speak. This is why we are here. This is why we are here. Good. Let us discuss the controversy and let us find a solution to the problem. This is why we are here. If you disagree with me, come up and give your position. This is my position. This is the position of Northern Nigeria. So if you disagree, make your position known. Now, let us look at competency, credibility, patriotism, the love for the country to move Nigeria forward. Yes, we should create, there should be a room for discussion. Call it national conference, call it national conference, call it restructuring, call it whatever. I agree that we should come to a round table and discuss Nigeria and discuss the way forward for Nigeria. I agree that we are disagreeing. I agree that there's a problem. I agree that uh, there is, uh, if you like, uh, call it lopsided appointment. I am not in government, so I don't speak for the government. I speak for North. I don't speak for Buhari. If Buhari is doing something wrong, Nigeria should call his attention that what he's doing is wrong, he should correct it. He's a Nigerian, he's a leader. He is elected by every Nigerian. But not a particular tribe or region be seen as a threat to a country. We, if one region or tribe or religion is a threat to this country, then all of us are threatening Nigeria and we are all threat to Nigeria. Then let us come and discuss the problem, find the solution to the problem, and let's move forward as Nigerians. That was why I tried to bring something. I said, I am the victim. I tried to highlight. My wife, the mother of my children, is from Imbise in Imo State. So, discuss Nigeria as Nigerians. Let us be patriotic as Nigerians. Let us look at Nigeria as Nigeria, not be talking of sentiment. Let us find a solution to this problem. Let us work for how we can solve this problem. Let us not be coming here to discuss, uh, uh, making it as if it's uh, just a discussion issue. We have a serious issue at hand. We should look at the problem, find a solution. I want to thank the convener and for him to